Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. All right. Yes, I can hear you now. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, great. That's nice. Ready? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, just let me close some windows. Okay, good. Okay, so everybody's coming in. So we have two, five, six, ten, fifteen, twenty. We're missing. Okay, good. Okay, uh, I have a question. Yo me había conectado, no veía a nadie. Que se ¿Tuvieron algún problema al inicio ustedes? Sí, teacher, nos sacó a todos del link de, de la clase. ¿Yo lo saqué? Ah, creería que sí. Va, ok, puede hacer, puede hacer. Ajá, porque yo entré, no lo veía, entonces salí y volví a entrar. Ya después ah, ok. Se... Ok, right. teacher. Va, entonces, ah, quería saber eso porque no sé qué, me, qué habrá sucedido. Entonces, pero es es good to know. Pero la próxima vez hablaré en los... para ver si están en. Okay, but I guess everything is fine. Okay, good. Well, my name is Luis Avellano. Okay. Uh, and you will always see. Let me find the chat here. Okay, Luis Avellan, okay. Okay, so that's my name. Okay. So you can call me Luis or you can call me. Or you can call me Luis, okay, no problem. And then I have here, I have Ryan, I have a person. Fatima, Fatima Virginia. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. We have Virginia, we have Dora, Carol, Edwin, Hilda. Well, okay. we also have Neida. Okay. Ana Guerre, Ana Guerra. Elina, Elina. Yo. Ah, but that's correct. Elina. Sí, Elina. Elina, okay, correct. Gracias. Okay, Fidel, Andrea, Daniel, Ricardo, Ana. Estoy viendo que no tengan números, nom eh, nombres uh, repetidos. Andy, Ana. Ah, I have Ana. Ana Vicky, Ana Vicky en la historia. No, no es la misma, ¿verdad? Sí, Ana Vicky. Victoria. Pero Vicky es parte de, es un diminutivo de Victoria, ¿verdad? Sí. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Sí. Ya que sí se llaman igual, ok. Mm -hmm. Ana Vicky. Está bien, I like it. I like it. Then we have uh... oh, Elizabeth, Herman, eh, Bernardo, Antonio. Okay. Present. Perfect. Ok, bueno, ya saben que solo quiero informarles de dos cosas. Uno es, bueno, que voy a tomar asistencias, eh, voy a esperar por lo menos unos 10 minutos a la clase, porque a veces hay algunos problemas de conexión. Eh, y luego tomo la, tengo que hacer unas capturas de pantalla. Creo que ya se les informaron, ya están acostumbrados. Pero yo les voy a decir, miren, voy a tomar ahorita la asistencia con hacer así por nombre por nombre porque creo yo que me va a llevar tiempo y eso este pues a ver, aprovechar más el tiempo de la clase para sus preguntas ejercicios o alguna otra actividad que tengamos 
Eh, luego también, casi a, ya para el final, ya un poco, eh, unos 10, 15 minutos antes, tengo que hacer otra toma de, de ¿cómo es que se llama? De, de pantalla, otra estructura, para ponerlo en los archivos que se piden en Cajor. Y pues para que quede, digamos, como eh, evidenciado, ¿verdad? La asistencia de ustedes y, y cómo es que se llama, ya podamos eh, con todo eh, poder cumplir con los requisitos que nos piden. Los requisitos son el 80% de asistencia y el 80% mínimo de la nota. Ustedes tienen que, que ganar para lograr pasar al siguiente nivel. Eh, es importante también mencionar que, eh, por lo menos yo como maestro, no estoy autorizado para, para dar permiso, ¿verdad? En caso de que ustedes por alguna razón no puedan asistir o algo, eso tendrán que informarlo a la administración y ellos ya les darán mejor información de cómo ustedes pueden tramitar, ¿verdad? Esas, esas, digamos, esas situaciones que se puedan dar. Este, porque, ajá, porque digamos, el sitio que a mí me informen, yo lo, sí lo voy a agradecer siempre que me diga, mire, si usted no me va a presentar, como muchas veces lo hacen en otros grupos, eh, yo creo que es bueno, ¿verdad? Por aquello de, de, de estar comunicado siempre, de tener comunicación. Pero sí, eso no garantiza que ya tienen un permiso. Okay, eh, digamos, legal, por así decirlo, eh, que le va a, a, digamos, a eximir de, del 80%. O sea, yo no tengo esa, esa potestad sobre, sobre los permisos. Eh, what else? Eh, el día de mañana me va, les van a enviar, tengo entendido, una notita donde ustedes tienen que firmar la creo y dar, eh, reenviar ya confirmando que han recibido el manual, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan tener el, el material con el que vamos a estar estudiando. Entonces, este, pues, al favor de que, que lo manden con la prontitud del caso para que no vayamos a, a irnos atrasando con trámites administrativos, ¿ok? Este, para no estarles tampoco recordando a ustedes, miren, no, no están pidiendo que nos envíen esto, o sea, recibirlo, pues ustedes lo, lo envíen. No es muy... No es muy complicado de llenar, pues, solo que tengo que poner un nombre y que ya está, ustedes lo van a enviar. Entonces, tengo entendido que mañana se los van a enviar a ustedes para que lo, para que lo llenen. Ustedes lo reenvían y, y ya tenemos este, este trámite cumplido. Eh, ¿Qué otra cosa más tendría que decirle? Bueno, de las clases, recuerden que ustedes van a ver la plataforma, lo van, van a estudiar mucho ahí de los, del material que hay. Si tienen dudas al iniciar la clase, sería bueno que en ese momento la, me las hicieran saber sin ninguna pena. Este, yo, este, a mí me pagan ya en, en ¿cómo es que se llama? En, en inglés corporativo, es que no voy a cobrarles por preguntas que me hagan, ¿verdad? Que no tengan pena de preguntar. <risa> ni, miedo que, ni miedo que les voy a cobrar, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya las, las preguntas y respuestas son gratis, ¿ok? No, al contrario, creo que las preguntas que todos hacen muchas veces enriquecen ¿okay? el conocimiento de todos. Entonces, yo soy de las personas que prefiero que se hagan muchas preguntas porque a veces, por muy sencilla que sea, es un detallito que tal vez alguien más en la clase no lo, no, no lo recuerda, se le ha escapado y es bueno estar refrescando el conocimiento. Así que no tengan pena que no hay preguntas sencillas, no hay preguntas, eh, digamos, este, ingenuas, no hay preguntas eh, elevadas, o sea, todas las preguntas son buenas. Okay, bienvenidos. Las que pueda responder, la respondo y si no me la sé, pues algo me inventaré en el momento. Ok, entonces, eh, pero sí, vamos a tratar de responderles todas sus preguntas. Eh, ¿Qué más podría? ¿Alguna duda? No sé, algún comentario que ustedes tengan, expectativa. Bueno, la clase no crean que va a ser en español. Ok, Esta porque quiero que hay unas cosas administrativas que me han pedido que les explique y que, que les queden, digamos, como que no queden dudas. ¿verdad? La de class es en English, ¿ok? English. Solo yo tengo autorización de hablar español, no hay nadie más, ¿ok? A menos que manden una carta escrita y certificada de que me van a decir una palabra en español. No, o sea, me gusta hacer también un poquito así a veces de broma, juego, pero realmente créame que, que sí me gusta ser muy, muy flexible y que sea la clase amena, o sea, tengan confianza, no hay ningún problema. ¿Ok? Preguntas. Ahorita aprovechan que les voy a dejar hablar español. Día de oferta. No question. For me not, for me not, teacher. Okay, great. 
that's good. That's the attitude. Vale, voy a tomar entonces las primeras capturas porque creo que ya están la mayoría. Eh, entonces ahorita solo les cuento hasta tres. Entonces creo que voy a tomar dos porque veo que están. Un grupo algo grande tipo. Ah, ok, voy a ir a menos. Está cosa. Ok, good. Ok, now, here we go. Ok, picture number one. Smile. Ok, here we go. Now I have to pick another one. And the second one. Oh, there will be three. That's two. Wow, it's a large group. And the last one. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, terminamos la sesión fotográfica. Good. Ya tengo 27 nuevos modelos. Okay, just in case I need one. Okay, and we're gonna get started with the class. Okay, good. Let's start. Okay, we have shirt screen. Okay. So this is English pre intermediate, right? Pre intermediate one. It's correct? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we are where we have to be. Okay. Then we have the section one. Remember that in the, in this two weeks, uh, this week, and next week, we are going to cover section one, section two, and section three. Okay? Okay. And then in the midterm test. So we have to, two weeks to complete the three sections, section one, two, three, and the midterm exam. And in the next two weeks, we have to cover section four, section five, and the final exam. Okay? So then... Mm -hmm. uh, and you can remember that you can work you can work at your own speed if you want to advance go don't stop if you have questions about other topics from from section two or from section three and we are in section one then i can we can do it okay we can we can see those topics no problem uh, we have uh, in case, in case you don't, uh, if I am uh, probably, you don't understand my explanation, okay, you can, you know, tell me, okay, Liz, time out, stop, okay, uh, I need, you no know, a repetition, I need a more vocal, I need a, another explanation, I don't understand this, could you please repeat, okay, so, and I can do it, no problem. Then, so we have uh, the first topic here is about, please call me back, right? And then we have, in this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other, okay? So this is, you know, meeting people, okay? getting to know other people as well. Then we have a conversation here. Now, pay attention every time, every time we watch the videos, pay attention to 
two things, okay? First, vocabulary, okay? The new vocabulary or expressions, okay? An expression, a question, a word, okay? Something that is new for you, okay? I can explain the word in Spanish, the meaning of the word. And also pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? Two important things, pronunciation and meaning. What is the meaning of this? Okay, this is the meaning, okay? What is the pronunciation of this? This is the pronunciation, okay? All right? No? All right. Good, I like that. Okay, okay. Sure. Good, now listen. This section one. Please call. Participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Welcome to this class. We learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to. Don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Sun He is here. Who's Sun He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-C-A. -A. Okay. Okay, yeah. here, questions about vocabulary. Were you able to hear? Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. um, uh, what, what is the meaning? So is Brazil. Yo entiendo este, como, y como es Brazil, verdad? Pero so is Brazil. No, um, well, it says, oh, I love oh Mexico. It's, it's really beautiful. Uh huh. So is Brazil. So Brazil is beautiful too. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Brazil okay. is bonito también. Man. Exactly. So is Brazil. Okay, okay. okay. thank you. Sure. Okay, and you can use this so in different, in different, uh, in different moments, right? Or in different situations. For okay, example, thank you. For example, my car is very fast. Okay, my car is very fast. And they say, so is mine. So my mm -hmm. car is fast too. Okay? So, uh -huh. so, yes, so yes, yes, yes. I también. Okay. Good. Okay. Las dos formas son válidas. Exactly, sir. No problem. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. You're welcome. Okay. What else? ¿Qué otra? Another one that you have uh, questions, vocabulary, pronunciation. No, teacher. No, no more? Okay. Perfect. Then we have here, yes? Uh huh. Estoy en teacher. Okay, good. So then we have here says, hello, I'm David Garza, right? I'm a new club member. Okay, so we have then that says, hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, so this expression, please call me Beth, is you give the person the, you authorize the person to uh, call you in a respectful way, but also a little informal, right? Like when I say, for example, my name is Luis Avellan, okay? But you can call me Luis, 
Okay, I am giving you uh, authorization to call me Luis. So you can say, hey, Luis, I have a question. Okay, no problem. I won't get angry, no me va a molestar, okay, or that you say this, okay? So people say teacher, you say this, okay, no problem, okay? You can also call me teacher, okay, you can call me this, no problem. Good, you say, where are you from? Beth, then you have Brazil. Okay, how about you? How about you is simply, and you? Okay, and that's the way it is. So basically, then you have a good, and some he is the name of the girl, and they spell. How do you spell that? This is the alphabet. Okay. Good. To learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to, and don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay. Where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Sun He is here. Who's Sun He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Okay. Good. So then we have the, the introduction. It says, where are Teacher. you from? Yes, sir. Teacher, uh, what are you... Uh, actually, it Garza. Oh, actually, actually, actually. in reality, yes. in reality is okay. okay. For example, okay. when the lady says here, son, he is here. Who's son? You say Carla. Let's. Uh, what is it here? Okay, it says Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name? Okay, again, say Garcia. Okay, for example, my name, my last name is Garcia too. Say, actually, in reality, in fact, it is Garza, no Garcia, right? Garza, no Garcia. Actually, it means the age. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. And they say, how do you spell that? Okay. And they say G A R Z A. All right. Okay, thanks. When you say, when we use the word actually, a eh, En inglés hay unas palabras que se llaman cognados en español y en inglés se llaman cognates. Son palabras que hay false cognates y true cognates. Los false cognates, este puede ser uno, el actual. Que se puede confundir uno que en inglés, como lo ve la palabra actually, se cree que, uno, que significa actualmente. Pero en inglés no significa actualmente. Si usted dice actually, Por ejemplo, ¿a dónde trabaja? Actually, I work, actualmente trabajo. No. En inglés se dice at present. I work. Ok, actualmente es at present. Y actually significa de hecho, en realidad. Ok. okay. Pero okay. hay unas palabras que sí son iguales. Por ejemplo, control. Ok, I control my life. Yo controlo mi vida, right? And I have the control. Ok. Then you say the remote control. Okay, eso sí son, eh, hay palabras que sí son iguales en inglés, en Spanish. Y esos son los true cognates. Okay. True cognates. Ajá, true cognates. Lo voy a escribir ahí. Please. En, en el chat. Eh, what is chat? What is chat? Here, here, here. <laughs> here, I got it. Okay, we have true. True cognate. En español lo va a encontrar como cognados. False. True cognate. Ajá. Voy a poner un ejemplo. True cognate es el control. Ok. ¿Qué otra palabra se oye igual en inglés y en español? Mm. 
continuation. Yeah, continuation. Ese es un true covenant. Se ven continuation is going to be continuación y continuation. Okay. Luego viene un false covenant. Hospital teacher. Hospital, uh -huh. correct, very good. good, good, good. Okay. False cognate is going to be, for example, a, when you say actually. Okay, actually no es actualmente, sino que de hecho, en realidad. Police. Police. Police is a, a true cognate, uh -huh. police. Okay, so those similar words are correct, right? For example, how do you say a, uh, oh, this one. Este es otro que es un, es un false covenant, embarrassed. Okay, embarrassed no es embarazado. Embarrassed. Okay. Okay, so embarrassed is estar apenado, right? Es como cuando uno va caminando en la calle en frente de un montón de gente y se desliza y por ir chateando. Then you feel embarrassed. No se siente apenado. Es embarazoso, right? Okay, but no, the end, the word pregnant. Okay, y ese es para embarazar. Pregnant. Okay. So this is false cognate and two true cognates. Por eso es que les digo que es importante que hagan preguntas sobre vocabulario. Porque a veces pueden, podemos encontrarnos con pequeñitas palabras como eso, right? Good. Then, 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 so we have this one, the cognates, and that's it. Then we have questions, where are you from? Okay, originally, right? Where are you from originally? Then you can use uh, doctor. Doctor is a true cognate. Yes, that's correct. Okay, that's another word. Point. So questions like, what are you from? Uh, let's see, Anna, Anna Guerra. Where are you from, Anna? I am from Planes Terrenderos. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, so I am from Los Planes Terrenderos. Okay, originally. Yes? No, no, oh. originally uh, from uh, my mom is the Chalatenango city. Okay, very good. Okay, so you you have a blood Chalateco blood, right? Yes. Blood <laughs> from Chalate. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. Good, Brian. Brian Steele, where are you from originally? I I from Santa Ana. Okay, I'm from Santa Ana. Very good. Nice. Hey, Eugenia, where are you from originally? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, I'm from Usulutan. Okay, good. That's nice. Usulutan. Okay. I, I live in uh, San Salvador, but I'm from Usulutan. Okay, very good. That's nice. Okay. My mother was from Usulutan. So I am I am from San Salvador. My mother was from Usulutan. And I was born in San Salvador. Okay, good. So we have for I mean blood from Usulutan. That's good. Harold, how about you? Where are you from? I am from Sochiapango. Sochiapango. Oh my... <laughs> Originally? Yes, that's right. Okay, very good. That's nice. Okay. Then we have, uh, how about you, Fidel? I'm sorry. Uh, I have uh, trouble with my earphone well i'm from san salvador okay i'm from san salvador okay so then this one's uh for example this question is you know when you want to know the origin okay the origin of a person uh, in this case the majority of, of us are from san salvador right i guess and that's why the question is where are you from uh, where are you from originally okay for example, in my case, I live now in, 
in the Libertad department, but I am originally from San Salvador, okay? So then this is the, the correct form to ask and give your, the, the origin, okay? Where do you come from? Okay, another question is, how do you spell? Okay, how do you spell? Do you remember the alphabet? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, the alphabet is good to think in English, okay? The alphabet is good to think in English. Okay, let's see uh, Esmeralda. Esmeralda Carolina. Esmeralda is a long name. <laughs> okay. Esmeralda, how do you spell Esmeralda? <laughs> I spell uh, no, how do you spell Esmeralda? Your, la your first name, E-S-M, Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Okay, you spell it. How do you spell that? E? S M E R A L D A. Esmeralda. Okay. Yeah. Por eso no le pregunté a Ana porque me dice A N A. Okay. It's very easy. Uh -huh, yes. Please. My second name is is difficult. Uh -huh, which one? My second name is Bernarda. Ber okay. Spell Bernarda. Okay. The middle name. Okay. Uh, is B E R N A R D A. Wow, that's good. That's nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, you know, that's uh, the ability. The ability to spell is uh, not easy, right? It's a little bit uh, difficult because you have to think in English. Okay, you have to think the the letters, and you also and you you need to have the image. Of your name here okay for example uh who wants to spell a uh, for example chalatenango who wants to spell me okay okay uh, is c h a l a t e n a n g o g o okay this, this is, you know, when you have to go for, okay, Chalatenango, right? C-H-A-L-A-T-E-N-A-N-G-O. Okay, so you have Chalatenango. Good. Okay, so this is a good practice, okay? A good practice to, well, first, but, uh, a, for the pronunciation. So you have to say A, B, C, D, E, F, E. Okay, the pronunciation, the, the, the articulation and sounds. And also the image of the word in your mind and then reproduce it okay you are thinking in english but you see the letter you see the letter in your brain and you say the letter in english okay that's why uh, you see in english they have the spelling bee contest ¿Ya han oído del spelling bee contest sí. okay yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, in los, in los colegios de los niños hoy hacen bastante el spelling B. Spelling okay. uh -huh. Spelling. Uh, movie about that. Uh -huh. Yes, there is a movie about that. Okay, de una chica morenita, ¿verdad? Yes, spelling B. Yes. Uh -huh. Spelling B is uh, de le un concurso de letreo, right? And les dan una palabra and, and the children have to a spell. For example, they said uh, a spell. S P E L L. Okay. Uh, you say uh, Brazil. B R A Z I L. Okay. Then you say about. A B O U T. Okay. And then you have to think the word and spell. It. Okay. Then you can practice with your name. Practice with your name. Uh, how you say orthography? Uh, spelling. Spelling. Uh -huh. Es la misma. Okay. Spelling. For example, eh, supongas que les dejo una tarea, right? La tarea, eh, escriban 10 oraciones, right? And, y hay varios errores de ortografía. And then I say, please check the spelling. Please check your spelling. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Then you use the word spelling. Okay. <laughs> Is the same the same word. Good. 
Then uh, let's see the next one. So here we have some practice. And then let me check uh, here. Fidel, would you please read this uh, objective here? Yes, of course. One, two, 1 1.2 lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use possessive and adjectives, my, your, his, her, its, our, their, in order to introduce their names and, the, and to express possession. Okay. Look at this one. It says possessive adjectives. Why possessive adjectives? <coughs> why? Uh, why? But why? Why possessive? Uh, why? Adjectives? Okay. Uh huh. My sure. Uh huh. Okay. Why possessive adjectives? So the the owner or something. Uh huh. Exactly. You have to show. Okay, for example, when you say, um, what is an adjective? What is an adjective? What is an adjective? You, my. No, ad adjective. I, adjective. you. To describe an adjective. I, you, uh -huh. she. Who said describe? Somebody said describe. Who said that? Maybe. Who said describe? You to describe an adjective. Or okay. Color, maybe. Or exactly, color. right? For example, we can say big, big house. Okay, so you have adjective, and then you have noun. Pronoun, noun, noun. Noun, okay? Is it okay? Okay. Then the position, the position of the adjective is before the noun, big house. Uh, you can say also nice car, okay? Adjective, nice, noun, car. Okay, the position, the, fun the function, the function of the adjective is before the noun. In this case, we have possessive, Possessive adjectives. Okay, and these possessive adjectives are my, your, his, her, etc. Right? Let me see somebody is. <coughs> uh, teacher. Okay. Okay, Herman, good. Eh, no sé si será inestabilidad, but, well, no problem, okay? If we try to be connected, okay? Try to be connected as much as you can. And then we have my, eh, also, eh, then you have my, your, his, and her. If you see, I'm going to write some other examples. I come on, move. Okay. All right. I'm going to write here my house. Okay, my house. If you see the position, the position of my is adjective. And now, what is the difference between this one and this one? Quite a difference. What's the difference between the B, the first one is just uh, a B B house or, or just a house. Uh -huh. But the second is my house. It's my house. Okay, good. It's, it's it's not... uh -huh. Exactly. The first one is description. Uh-huh. That big house 
anyhow, correct, anyhow, description. And in this one, it's my house. Possession. Okay. Uh -huh. And this is possession, correct. Okay, and then you're gonna use my house, my car, my book, my class, my friend, my wife, my son, uh, my whatever, okay, then you can say my, my money, my shoes, okay, you're going to use this adjective, and then you adjective, uh, possessive adjective, and then you are going to use a noun, okay? No problem? No problem. Okay. Now we're going to go back to to the point okay, that we have here. And then it says, then we're gonna use possessive adjectives, my, your, his, her, it's, our, and their. My is for me, your, you, one person. You. His, men. He. Okay, he, her, woman. She. 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 It's, it. Object or animal. Okay. Object or animal. I have a computer. Its color is blue. I have a dog. Its name is a goldie. Okay. For example, you say, my name is Luis. Your name is uh, Emeida. His name is Edwin. Uh, her name is Fatima. Okay, my dog, its name is Goldie. Our, our class is uh, every day from Monday to Thursday. And there is for day. Okay, their class is tomorrow. Okay, now let's watch the video. And say statements with B. Possessive adjectives. Statements are sentences. Okay, statements on oraciones, right? Statements with the verb to be. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, okay? By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, it. Our, their. Today, we will go over the possessive adjectives. Let's listen and look at the chart. Statements with B. Possessive adjectives. Statements with B. I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're my classmates. Contractions of B. I'm equals I am. You're equals you are. He's equals he is. She's equals she is. It's equals it is. We're equals we are. Their equals they are. Possessive adjectives. My. Your. His. Her. It. Our. Their. I want you to pay attention to the possessives. In English, each person has its own possessive. So remember, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. For example, we say, my family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on. We, our, they, member. I, pay attention to the possessives. Our, their. Okay, so that's I want the, you to pay attention to the possessives in English. Our. Okay, first is the pronunciation, right? 
so as we have here, we have a statement, and then you see the contraction time. Okay. Remember that it's important to make the sound of the M. Okay, I'm. Okay, you're from Brazil. Your. Okay, you're from Brazil. You're from Brazil. His. His from Japan. His from Japan. She. Okay, remember it's a shh, shh. Like when we say be quiet. Okay. Okay, the sound is not she. Okay. It's different the SH and the CH. Okay, CH is ch China, Chinese. But this one is she. Okay, like sound. Okay, so she is a new, uh, new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class and they're my classmates. Yes, Bernardo, you have a question. Hello, teacher. Hello. My name is Bernard. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you I have a question. Okay. Uh, what's the meaning of the word statements? Sentence. Sentence. Statements. Uh huh. Statement. Sentences. Uh, statements. The meaning is sentences. Sentences. Uh huh. Correct. Yes. Statements. I, ha I have an. A statement is sentences. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have another question. What's your name? Luis Avellan. Oh, nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you, Leonardo. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, good. Then you have the, the sentences or statements would be, then you have we're in the same class. We're, okay, we're in the same class. Same. Usually in Spanish, we don't, we don't close uh, this sound, okay? Remember that in Spanish, uh, is silabiado, right? Nuestro idioma es silabiado, which means, for example, you say, eh, ma, ma, okay? Casi nunca usamos consonantes al final, muy seguido. You say pan, for example, when you say pan, bread, okay? But for example, with uh, M, M, el M al final casi no se usa, right? But in English, yes. Okay, in this case, you say the same. Okay, no same. Because that little sound, if it's the same, it's mismo, right? The same. But if you say same, si no se cierra la boca, same, se dice san. Okay, I am same, soy san. Okay, and this is just the same. Okay, es lo mismo. Okay, so one little. Uh, Movement in the mouth makes the difference. Okay, so be careful. Okay, good. Uh, the other one is uh, they're my classmates. Then contractions I'm, your, his, his, it, we're, and their. Okay, this one my, your, his, her, its, our, and their. And then we have the next one. There. I want you to pay attention to the possessives. In English, each person has its own possessive. So remember, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. For example, we say, my family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on. And so on. Teacher. Yes, sir. My family. What is the meaning of so, song? Etc. Etc. Ah, say, teacher. Okay, teacher. so on. Okay. Okay. And so on. You can say etc. Okay, same teacher. Okay. Her, her car, our brother, and so on. Okay, good. Questions about the possessive adjectives? When to use them, how to use them? Not really. Okay, then this is this is one thing. The other thing that is important to to point out, okay, to 
to mention is that when we use possessive pronouns, it is important, well, when we use pronouns, it is important to mention before the, the reference, to give a reference. Okay, what is a reference? What is a reference? Something that you mentioned before. For example, if I say, uh, a, okay, everybody, look at her books. Look at her books, okay? Mientras me contestan esto, les voy a tomar otra foto para la attendance. A, look at her books. ¿Qué, qué tenemos cuando digo look at her books? ¿Qué entienden? Look at her books. Oh. Uh, we can, uh, we have to pay attention to what is uh, in the book of, of her. Okay, and very, very good, excellent. And who is her? She? Yeah, it's a girl. <laughs> uh -huh, exactly, right? So in my, in my sen my sentence is not very clear, right? It's not very clear because uh, I need to I need to give you more information. I need to give you a reference. Okay. For example, I say, "Look at Dora." Okay. Look at Dora. Okay. Everybody looks at Dora, and then say, "Where are her books?" De los libros de quién estoy hablando? Dora. Dora's book. Okay. It's easy to, right? So it's easy to, uh, let's say, to to identify, right? To identify the person that we are talking about, okay? So it is important before, because if you only say, hey, look at his, look at his car. Well, if si la persona está enfrente, maybe it is possible, mira su carro, right? But in this case, you say, look at his car. Okay, el carro de quién, right? So we don't know, it's not very clear. So then, eh, a veces no es que no entendamos inglés, sino que también tenemos que tener un, un como, eh, una referencia, right? Si ustedes entran a una habitación y alguien dice, hey, look at her books, look at her shoes. No van a saber de quién se están hablando si hay cinco señoritas o cinco señoras, right? Pero si han estado ahí y saben que están hablando de ex person, then you will say, okay, look at her books, look at her shoes, then you will know, okay? So it is important to, okay, to, to give reference, okay? To have a reference of the person that we're talking about, okay? For example, I can see, uh, let me see. There is a person, there is a person in this, uh, in this class, that has, uh, let me see, some green curtains behind her. Who is that person? There is a person in this class that has green curtains behind her. Who is that person? Yes. Estamos bien, estamos bien. Saludos a todos. A Gerson, a Brian, a Fátima, Eugenia, Esmeralda, Eneida, Edwin. Dora está de nuevo con nosotros. Dora sí. también, bro. Sí. Ana Rebeca is new for me. Okay. Hello. Harold, Harold, ya lo hemos visto por acá. Ahí estamos para la foto, Harold. <laughs> Andrea is new for me. Yes. Bernardo también is new for me. Yes. me. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you bro, for the new ones in this group. Okay. Eugenia, él es Bernardo, no es ah. Álvaro. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you. 
Okay. It's a media. Okay, you know you know each other now. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Well, eh, eso es otra una cosa que se me olvidó decirles al inicio también, okay? Uh, si tenemos estos problemas a veces de de bajones de internet, en mi caso si me saca, pues no no se preocupen, no se salgan, ustedes se quedan ahí esperando. Y, y yo 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 me vuelvo a conectar, okay? Para Okay. Entonces, okay, teacher. Ahorita okay. como quizás como no pagué el internet hoy, me sacó, entonces fui, fui, a, fui a comprar saldo. Ya lo están fui, cobrando, teacher. Sí. Okay, ni saldo le puse nada. Entonces, ni modo, pero ni, así, así, es, así es esto de la tecnología. A okay. little warning. Yeah, a little warning. Eso es little warning. Eso es muy bueno. Yes. Tomorrow, okay. no, no, no internet, if you don't pay. Okay, good. So tomorrow no class. No. Okay. All right, good. So then this is the, the, the reference, right? That we have to use, remember, with the possessive pronouns, okay? Eh, okay. The dynamic is going. Eh, buena, eso hoy vamos a hacer. ¿Quiénes son los que están nuevos ahora en este grupo? O todos son del mismo grupo anterior, ya que estaban in that dynamic. Mm -hmm. eh, vamos, yo cambié de horario. Yo Ernesto? cambié de horario. Ah, bueno, yeah, cambié de horario. Yeah, eh, también. Horario. Yeah, también. Vicky, okay, Adriana, too. Me teacher. Okay, good. You too. Then uh, Fatima. Nina. Yes, Fatima. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Ana Rebeca, yes. Yes, yo era de la tarde, pero como no, o sea, como habían pocos que habían puesto el horario así, por eso no pasaron para las de ocho a nueve, pero no veo, no veo los demás que, que les tocaría haber estado conmigo. O quizás los pusieron. Que, o los pusieron en diferentes grupos, o sea, porque no solo es uno, a veces hay dos. Mm. Puede hacer que los hayan, ajá, los hayan dividido. ¿Y tú? Yes, it's my first time in this course. Ah, ok, good. ¿Y antes? Before? Uh, before I started in ProLingua. Ah, ok, good. So, but that was in person classes. Uh, yes. Okay, in person class. Now you are. And what level did you study there? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, good. Okay, everybody. <laughs> One last question. Una pregunta final antes de irnos. Uh, what do you think? Uh, how was the class the part in English? Any questions? Uh, ¿Se entendió bien todo lo que se habló en inglés? No problem. Comments? ¿Algún comentario? No yes, no problem. No okay. problem. No Excellent. problem, teacher. Okay, yes, because I see that no, your, no part your participation in English is excellent, it's very good. I think that in this level is it's nice. It's nice that you are uh, practicing and, and participating in English. I like that because that, that is uh, that is something that you have to that we have to do from the very beginning. Okay, don't be afraid. Of no, no scare, no fear to speak English, okay? No problem, okay? Mistakes, don't worry about mistakes I, because I am, uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. This is difficult, no, okay? Speak English all the time. And, okay, any questions or doubts? No, no, yo una pregunta le quería hacer, no, no sé si le aparece en mi mano levantada, pero eh, lo que le quería preguntar eh, era que si no va a pasar asistente, Entonces, eh, nombre por nombre o solo la, eh, la foto. Lo que hago yo es tomar la foto porque así uh -huh. ya después me quedo yo pasando lista y por eso tomo la foto y pongo el, eh, nos han pedido que ponga, ya dice participants, aquí me aparece ya listado y entonces ya tomo el, 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 la foto. Y luego, este, ¿cómo es que se llama? Eh, ya luego paso la asistencia al, al, a la lista que nos dan y a ellos también sacan los minutos. Ah, vale. Eso ya no lo puedo hacer yo, ¿va? pero ellos sí lo hacen. Entonces, eh, lo que sí me han pedido es que lo haga unos minutos después de iniciada la, la clase. Sí. Puede ser entre 8, yo he considerado que de 8 y 10 más o menos. Y el, el otro que puede ser entre las 8.40 y las 8.50 antes de terminar. Entonces, son los dos momentos en los que me han pedido que haga captura de pantalla. Y, y para no, digamos, para estar pasando lista todo sino, y aprovechar más el tiempo, 
mejor lo hago así, después yo me quedo haciéndolo en vez de estar uno por uno con la lista, ¿verdad? Pero sí, esa, esa va a ser la, digamos, la dinámica para tomar. It's better that way. Ok, mm -hmm. okay. Hey, good, that's nice. Ok. Good for so, me, Perfect. So, thank you very much, people. Thank you for your time. Ok. Está un poco accidentada la clase por el internet, pero, ok. Hopefully tomorrow is going to be better. Ok, hopefully. I will pay tomorrow, ok. I promise. I'll pay my internet tomorrow. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok. So, have a very good night. Nice to meet you. Okay. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.